everyone, I'm back with another unboxing of the Bargain Beat Box, one of my favorite boxes. I love this subscription box and I'm always excited to see what the theme of the month is. It looks like the theme of the month is the theme of the month is Coastal Breeze and it tells you kind of a little bit of a summary of what's in here. Your beads, white sand, uh, turquoise season, coral pink inspired this month's seaside palette. So it looks like we're going to be uh, unboxing some carved shell drops, agate cubes, two-tone cylinder, and natural mother of pearl. Ooh, nice. <gasps> Bumpy lamp, lamp work, not nautilus beads i hope i said that right and uh coral synthetic coral electroplated lava stone lava stone give oce oceanic color and texture without damaging the reefs that is so cool and then we've got some crystal accent beads and a set of silver so it looks like the findings are going to be silver so like i said this is one of my favorite boxes if you subscribe to the box i will leave a uh i have a coupon code and i'll leave that down in the description box below and it gives you some money off your first your first month and also you get when you subscribe you get a coupon code for a 30 percent off off their sister site which is a very dangerous site because beads are so affordable and they change every month and they're just they just have gorgeous beads on that on their sister site which is beadbox bargain so it's backwards so without further ado let's get opening this box and see uh up close what we've got all right so i have zoomed us in and it always comes in a beautiful organza bag look at this gorgeous bag this one this time we get peach so it goes with the whole ocean theme. I'm going to put this to the side. Oh, and that's what I forgot. We have the identification key on this side. And it says that the uh, retail value of this shipment is $69. So, okay. So it looks like for number one, we have 30 pieces of 7.5 millimeter star bead cap. They are lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free made of silver finished pewter alloy so very cool look at these little star beads they got like little uh like little uh, beads or little balls there so we've got some pretty bead caps so that's number one well these are cool for number two we've got two pieces of 22.5 millimeter starfish charms sorry my finger is blue because I was eating blueberries and I'm trying to wash it off, but apparently it doesn't come off that easy. I didn't realize. So here we go. Look at how pretty these starfishes are. Really pretty charms. We get two of them. Ooh, look at this. For, for number three, we have a 51 by 53 millimeter textured starfish pendant, and it is lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. And it's made of the same uh, silver finished pewter alloy. What a nice pendant. That is so cool. Very pretty. For number four. Ooh, look at these. These are pretty. Uh, they are, it's a 16 inch strand of four by three millimeter crystal rondelle beads in alabaster AB. So they've got a really pretty AB finish. I see purples and golds. Very pretty little little rondelles. Very cool. They're perfect for little as little spacers. For number five, we have a 10 inch strand of eight millimeter crystal round beads in turquoise. Perfect sea color. <laughs> I love this color of turquoise. So pretty, but look at it. It almost looks like a honeycomb. The way that the, the facets are on it, the way that it's cut. For number six, this is an approximate seven inch strand of 14 millimeter synthetic turquoise starfish beads. And some more turquoise. These are pretty, very pretty little starfish. Love that they coordinate everything so well. For number seven, it's an approximate 7.5 strand of eight millimeter polished polished sheet. I knew this was gonna be a tongue twister. Polished seashell round beads. Huh. 
seashells, huh? Oh yeah, I could see the little, you could see like little, little cuts where they, they were, or little facets in here, where they were polished, they were made into little beads and then polished off. So pretty. Huh. Interesting. This is a, it's a, the white is like, I want to say it's like, I don't know. It's like a pure white. It's a really pretty white. It's a very pretty bead. That's a very nice finish. For number eight, we have some chain and it's approximately one meter of four by three millimeters textured steel over oval chain and this is lead free and nickel free. So it's textured oval chain. Yeah, very cool. All right. So we, we got some chain, always can use that. And for number nine, oh, look at these. Uh, number nine is a approximate seven inch strand of six to eight millimeter frosted weathered agate cubes. And it says that the agate beads are heat treated and permanently dyed. These cubes are so cool. They almost look like little salt cubes. But look at, they've got the cuts. The way they have the lines here, do you see? I don't know if it's showing up on, on camera, but these are so cool. How they're dyed and treated. For number 10, ooh, look at these. For number 10, we have approximate 15 inch strand of five millimeter mother of pearl shell round beads. Okay, so here's more shell, but these are mother of pearl and you can see the little where you could see the little shine or like it reflect the reflection of the beads. Jeez, you can hear my pug all just coming up the stairs. Even this one is like cut in half. Interesting. There's a little shell. Very cool. Those are really pretty. And look, see how they have different colors. Really pretty. Okay, so for number 11, we have two pieces of 10 by 11 millimeter hand carved shell drops. Look at these little itty bitty things. Very pretty shells. For number 12, we have six pieces of 11. Oh, 12, we have six pieces of 11 synthetic coral fluted melon beads in light turquoise. The light turquoise are so pretty. And it's a synthetic coral. No hurting the reefs. All right, so for number, what's this, 13. It's a 10 gram bag of 13 by 18 shell and starfish links. They are lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. This uh, silver is really pretty. And of course, they are silver finished pewter alloy. These connectors are so cool. I thought they were attached one to the other. I was trying to separate them for a minute there. <laughs> Some more beautiful synthetic coral. These are five pieces of 10 by 11 millimeter synthetic coral scallop beads and it's a varied pink. How pretty are these? Look at that. I love them. The detail on these is insane. Do you see that? I love the way they're dyed because it's not just a straight pink. These beads are really pretty. I have to go see if they have some on their sister site because I want more. They're so pretty. For 15, oh, these are cool. 15, we have a 10 gram of, uh, 10 gram bag of 14 millimeter starfish beads. They are lead free and cadmium free and made of silver plated, silver finished pewter alloy. The hole is, they're drilled through here, see? You got to drill there and they come out through there. Really pretty. As little accents. For 16, uh, it is a uh, approximate seven and a half strand of eight by 8.5 by eight millimeter electroplated lava stone barrel beads. These are really poor, these are really cool. So these are the lava ones. Lava stone barrel beads. And they're silver. Oh, they're electroplated. Very pretty. These are cool. I think they're all cool. <laughs> and for 17, they are we got two sets of toggles. 
two sets of 21 by 16.5 millimeter pebble texture toggle clasps. They are lead free and cadmium free. So these do have some nickel in there, but they're really pretty. It's so nice that they tell you what they're made of. That way, if you have any allergies. For 18, look at these, ooh. For 18, we have two pieces of 26 by 29 millimeter carved shell pendants. Aren't they beautiful? Look at these. Ooh, so pretty. For 19, ooh, these look like more shells. What are they? It's a 40 piece strand of six by four millimeter freshwater shell beads. They are a pale pink. They're dyed. Look at how beautiful this pink is. Isn't that pretty? And you got the little, the little reflectives of the shell. It's such a soft, like peachy pink. For 20, oh look, these are fun. There are these probably that are the handmade. Let's see. At 20, we got 13 to 14 by 15 millimeter handmade lamp work glass nautilus. Not, I don't know. I thought I'm saying this right. Nautilus beads. <laughs> so they look like little shells. Look at, they even got the brown of the shells they put in there. They did a really pretty job, even though in a way it kind of looks like a cake with frosting too. Or am I just craving cake? <laughs> Those are cool. And last, but definitely not least, because look at how beautiful these are. Uh, we have two pieces of 34 by nine millimeter, two-tone agate oval beads, cream transparent ivory. And again, these are heat treated and permanently dyed. These are really pretty. Oh, wow. Huh. That is so cool. I wonder, I'm gonna have to look, maybe I can find that on YouTube to see what the process is that they go through because it says they're heat treated. I always love to watch those videos where you can see what stuff is made out of. <laughs> but these are really pretty. All right. All right, you guys. So these are the components for the month of July for the bargain bead box. Let me go grab my tools. As always, this is design on the fly. So I'm gonna go grab my tools and let's see what we could come up with. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have started as usual making the jewelry so that this video doesn't take forever. So I started making a necklace and I'm gonna show you what I did, how to put it together. And also I wanted to give you some tips and tricks on how you can make your jewelry a lot faster because usually what I like to do is bake my own head pins and my own loops and all that kind of stuff. But if you're running short, if you have a project, if you want to wear it for a special occasion, you need it right away. There are ways that you can save some time. And that's what I wanted to show you here in this video. So besides, you know, I'm going to use these beautiful white, like pearl, like round shell, round shell beads. And then the little ones that are oyster, oyster shell I believe and then we're going to be using cl little clusters of these really pretty white rondelles with the AB finish on them some bead caps and what else do we need oh some of the blue starfish I did use the chain and so kind of made a mix so that it has a little bit of uh, you know dangles I, I, I really like I really like my dangles. <laughs> so I added a little bit of dangles here and then some chains so it could be a multi-strand, but at the same time, you know, we, we ended up with one of these like barrel beads. I don't know exactly what they called it. I think this is quartz, isn't it? Dyed, heated and dyed quartz. And then besides these beads from the box, you're also gonna need some head pins. You're going to need some of these uh, these pins that are that have a little loop that have the simple loop on the end and that they're like head pins. And then you're going to also need a, like I use these four millimeter little jump rings here. So to get started, let me get started and that will it will all make sense as to what I'm doing, because like I said, right now it looks a little a little all like a mess. So to get started, let's start with our little starfish first, our little dangle. 
So as I was mentioning, I usually like to make my own head pins. You know, I've showed you in other videos. If you, if not, if you haven't seen my previous videos, that means you're new. So I suggest you subscribe and hit that bell. <laughs> so you get notified when I make more videos like these, especially providing more tips and tricks on how to make a jewelry and how to make it easy for you guys. So anyway, going back to the subject, I have, like I said, a little head pin here. So I'm going to make a dangle using our head pin and then it'll be a lot faster to using a head pin here like that and then make sure you have your tools so i'm going to use a pair of flat nose pliers here to bend it slightly or you could just use your round nose pliers throughout so you don't have to change pliers so many times just kind of use your round nose pliers to bend it slightly like that and then bring it over, move your pliers out of the way, like that. And then you can just grab your flat nose pliers again, bring those in here and make a wrap loop, which is what I did with all these little, uh, the other starfish dangles. There. And it's a messy, a messy wrap, which is nice because it's, you know, it's, it's the ocean. It's organic. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to tuck this end in. Like so. There. And now I'm going to grab one of these. I have my, bare, my pair of bent nose pliers, which I like to use these along with my flat nose pliers. So I'm going to grab one of these four millimeter jump rings. And again, I usually like to make my jump rings, but this is a fast way if you could just buy them at your local hobby store or beading store or even online. Just grab your little jump rings and grab your starfish. And what I was doing is I was uh, I started first at the center of the chain and then started kind of beading outward. So I believe I don't remember which side it was. Oh my goodness. I think it was on this side. Yeah. Well, we'll see if one side is lopsided. <laughs> I forget which side. Oh my goodness, Maria. All right. So I'm going to count from here. Let's see. I'm counting uh, six links. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that way they're all going to be separated by the same number of links. And like I said, I started in the middle, the center of the chain and worked outward. Doesn't want to play along. There we go. So now I have my jump ring on the chain on the sixth link and close that link. And now we're done with our little dangles. Then I'm going to put the barrel, this old barrel all I did for that I did use some 20 gauge wire as always I'm gonna work off the roll put my bead on there and then just bend it slightly bring it back over like that and then you can either change hands or just use your fingers and do about three twists there we go now you can clip the extra and tuck that in all right so now what i did was i grabbed a larger jump ring so this is about i think this is about eight millimeters or ten i'm not sure but it's a larger jump ring also i purchased it just like that and make sure let me Make sure I'm putting them in the right order. And don't forget to stay tuned till the end because that's when I will show you guys. Uh, that's when you'll see this on the bust. And then for now, I'm going to close. Oh, no, wait. I need to. I'm going to put in my. What color is on the bottom? Okay. So I'm going to put the white and close this ring. Make sure it's nice and. There's no separation there for now. And then I made, I started making this chain here. 
I wanted to use this really nice, the star pendant. And I even had made, you know, I had made a connection here with some uh, soft flex wire and everything, but I didn't have enough beads to bead it as long as the stars, as this, these two chains. So I just decided, and I figured, you know, my, you know what, it might be a little bit too much. So I just decided to leave it like this. That's, that's kind of how it's going to lay once, you know, you're wearing it or whoever. And me, it's probably, for me, it's probably going to go in my Etsy shop because I sell a lot of my jewelry in my Etsy shop. So for here, again, another saving tip or time saving tip is to use these looped head pins, you know, with a loop on the end. I forget right now what they're called. So all you have to do, I need one more. So all I'm going to do is, you know, you, it's already on here. So you can use it to dangle stuff from here, but it's also super easy to make, you know, these types of chains super fast so I'm just going to bend it in half cut Oop, like that make sure you hold on to it I tried but that's what happens when you're in a hurry and grab it here and just make another loop so now what you're doing is that you already have a loop on one side so you're saving your you're saving yourself some sometime and then I'm going to add these shell beads here let's see there we go these shell beads and then the pretty bead caps and then these the big white pearl beads or white shell beads large they're so pretty uh, and then here again you already have your loop made on one side so all you have to worry about is making a loop on the other side so I'm just going to go completely because we don't need extra for when you like you have to do a wrap loop cut a little bit off and make your simple loop just like the other side And there you go. You've got, I made this necklace so fast having these, these looped, you know, like head pins. This one I'm going to put over here. I don't need those. And here, all we're going to do is grab our flat nose plier. Open this. Bring that one on. Close. And the other side. And then this here and close this side and like I said it took me far less time to do this than to be making my own so like I said if you are if you make jewelry to sell sometimes time is money so or you have you know like a fair coming up and you need to make stuff quickly so I'm just going to add this to this side here, where am I? There. And add this here. And now we have this finished. See how pretty that's, oh my gosh, that's gonna look so pretty, you guys. For the other half, I made one, two, three, four, five clusters. So I have four here. So all I need to do is make one more. If you, again, another time saving tip, if you have them on a strand like this, it's super easy because you can grab it like this and then just, instead of trying to thread them one by one, you can th thread your three and just pull it out. And now you've got your three instead of trying to put one by one on there. And again, same situation, you've got your uh, loop on one side already made just make 
loop on this side and close it right there. All right, and now we just have to add this. Let's see, right here. Close. Then grab these, put them on here. Oop. There we go. Grab this end. And here, put your the other end of our toggle that we're using. Come on. Make sure it's nice and closed. All right, and this is the necklace that we made for our July bargain bead box. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I also wanted to show you other items that I made as well, because I always just make one piece. But I figured maybe, you know, you need a little more, you don't need inspiration for other things. So I made the bracelet with the cute little shells and the starfish on there. And the squares, these little cubes are awesome. I love the square, the little cubes. And the cubes are, I don't know, they give it a little bit of character. And then I put one of the stars on the end as a little dangle. And I also made these adorable earrings. I, as soon as I saw these shells, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And again, you'll see them in the picture at the end but isn't that cute and they i tried them on and they look so pretty i use gold wire for these they look so pretty you guys you will definitely if you make a pair like this you're going to love them i these i'm not these i'm going to keep to myself because they're so cute i think <laughs> so what do you guys think did you like this month's box let me know in the comments below and if you did like this video and you want to see more like it you can let me know by hitting that like button like button thank you so much for watching i'm going to leave a video after here of my other bead boxes if you want to check them out my other bargain bead box videos so you can check out older ones if you are interested in seeing what all other designs i like to make and for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.